Well, I am pretty sure that I got punished for this particular program yesterday by the uh, folks who manage this particular platform. So I am going to slightly modify what I say um, in the course of uh, presenting the Elon Musk X posts each day to make sure that we can continue <laughs> with this programming. <laughs> yes, well, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta pay attention when you're a guest, you have to be kind to your host. All right, so let's uh, take a dive. I also just, you know, I'm gonna ask you guys to be um, gentle with me because this is, you just can't even imagine how difficult this particular program is to put together. I hope it's entertaining. I hope it's useful. I hope it's fun to kind of get where Elon is, but uh, with all the emojis and with all the different ways that it, uh, I have to go collect it, um, sometimes I may stumble through parts of this. So I hope that's okay. A couple of programming notes. Uh, uh, we got CERN Basher normally on today. He will be on tomorrow. Uh, got Larry again on Saturday and maybe CERN Basher on Sunday. Um, and I also start traveling tomorrow. Uh, so tomorrow, uh, the morning show uh, will be late or not at all. I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to be on an airplane. So I don't know. I might do it from the airport at LAX. We'll see what happens tomorrow morning. All right, let's jump into it. All right, this first one, Elon Musk is replying to Devoratar, D-V-O-R-A-H-T-R, F-R, <laughs> F-R. Okay. If maximizing free speech within the bounds of the law, a traditionally liberal value, is somehow far right, then I guess I am. And Elon gives two huge laughing emojis. Then later on, by the way, oh, I also wanted to mention, I'm not doing these in order that Elon posts them. I'm trying to group them together to make them provide more of a storyline uh, uh, and I hope I hope that's okay with you. Let me know in the comments below. And of course, let me know in the comments below whether you like this, whether you hate it, whether I should keep doing it or not. I It's kind of fun, even though it's hard work. Okay. Uh, Elon then goes on. He says, given the relentless attacks on free speech, I am going to fund a national signature campaign in support of the First Amendment. I wonder what that's going to look like. That's a really interesting idea. I wonder what he's got in mind. Yeah, looking forward to seeing what comes out of that. Then Elon Musk is got a, uh, a post somebody else's meme, and he says that every time I hear about GPU flops, it reminds me of this meme. Flip flops are just thongs for your feet. Well, I don't know about you. When I grew up in the Midwest, they were called thongs. So I'm not sure. I I, I think I understand the double entendre here, but I'm not also sure because anyway. Uh, let me know what they called thongs or flip-flops when you were growing up down in the comments. All right. Holmore's blog says that Cybertruck deliveries are resuming. Martin Bowling says, looks like whatever the pedal problem was holding up the VINs is fixed. VIN assigned today in West Virginia. Holmore's blog, da-da-da-da. And then Elon says, there were no injuries or accidents because of this. We are just being very cautious. All right. This from Just Loki. All right. Now we're going to be talking about NPR for a minute. Um, NPR is the focus of a lot of Elon's attention right now. The NPR, he says, <clears throat> Loki says, the NPR, and by the way, that's Loki Julianus, if you want to follow him on X. The NPR lady is just someone who has internalized the entire normie consensus, no matter how illogical or self-contradictory it might be in places, and repeats it when prompted. If you were told that she was AI, she would fail the Turing test. <laughs> Mark Andreessen comments on that. He says the good news is she and people like her can be easily replaced by AI. The bad news is she and people like her are hardwiring AI to be just like them. And then um, Elon, what does Elon say to all of that? I think he reposted it. I'm trying to see if there was a, a, a yeah, see, that's the problem. Sometimes I miss some piece of it. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this was a quote tweet from him. All right, I got a quote post um, or, or just a, a repost. But this one, we do have what he's, he, he responds to this one for sure. Chris 
I'm mean, sorry, real Chris Rufo says, exclusive, Catherine Mayer doesn't just want to stamp out bad information on the internet. She wants to replace it with good information. He's got quotes around a lot of this, i.e. left-wing narratives and force the public to sit within the good information as a collective. Big sister has arrived, he says, and Elon Musk says she's evil. So then we've got Chris Rufo again. He says the answer is no. The people in her orbit are loyal to the ideology, not to its avatar. Catherine Maher is just an interchangeable part, an ideological parrot. She's useful to the extent that she repeats the words, but when she becomes an embarrassment for others, they flee. And then uh, this was in response to Michelle Taylor, I mean, Tandler rather, and that's just exactly like it sounds on X. She says, serious question, is anybody defending NPR CEO Catherine Mayer? And then Elon says, exactly, meaning, yeah, is anybody defending her? This is also from Chris Rufo. Chris Rufo is getting a lot of responses from Elon today. This is quoting again, quoting Catherine Mayer specifically, I'm pro-censorship, anti-First Amendment, anti-truth, anti-white, and anti-free and open internet. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm not sure this is a quote. <laughs> I think this is him describing her and... Oh, I see, she's trying out for the job at NPR. Okay, that's what it is. Catherine Mayer says, I, okay, I already did all that. NPR responds, oh, she's perfect. Let's make her CEO. And Elon Musk says, yep. All right, then we've got uh, Elon. He says, uh, that, speaking of Wikipedia, um, okay, let's do it in reverse here. Catherine Mayer says that she abandoned a free and open internet as the mission of Wikipedia, because those principles recapitulated a white male westernized construct and did not end up living into the intentionality of what openness can be. If you can uh, translate that for me, please, comments below. What in the world does that even mean? <laughs> and then um, Elon responds to that with a uh, quote a post. He says, that's literally the point of Wikipedia. And I'm not exactly sure what Elon means there. The point of Wikipedia is to have a free and open internet. So she abandoned that, which is the point of Wikipedia, in order to make it over in her own image. And they wouldn't let her do that, although I think they probably did okay as they attempted to. Um, Elon Musk says, yikes, to this particular one from Libs of TikTok. The R... R um, dot P E, you, you fill in the letter, apologist runs, oh, this apologist runs child safety at Google. So Dr. K S, okay, this is Kate J S I M, Kate J Sim. Anyway, Dr. K S, um, but on, on uh, X, it's Kate J S I M. All right. December 7th, 2023, do not be swayed by Karens and their crocodile imperial feminism against rape. It plays straight into a long tradition of YT women weaminizing femininity, femininity slash motherhood to discipline slash punish men of color. And this is Emma Till, she says, she gives examples, Emma Till, Vincent Chen, Rationshad, all in the name of white sexuality. And Elon again said, yikes. This is uh, Elon Musk saying, uh, this is a, all right, this is a quote <clears throat> from the anti-racism fellow at, I think at Google? Uh, anti-racism fellow. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm not going to, I don't want to say that for sure. She's an anti-racism fellow at some major corporation. I'm sorry, it's uh, Loyola Law School's anti-racism fellow. This is her statement on her own X post. Get the F out of here, all you ugly... Um, ASS little Jewish people in this B-I-T-C-H says Grace Obiazuki 
the Loyola Law School's anti-racism fellow, to her classmates. Okay, Elon uses the exclamation point after that one. All right, Ashley St. Clair sends this one, and she is St. Clair Ashley on X. Elon responds, wow, there are signs in eight different languages advertising the free plane tickets for illegals in New York City. <laughs> Okay, then we've got Elon replying to Lex Friedman. He says, definitely, it's okay. Lex says, is it's okay for a commercial media organization to have political bias, but not tax funder, taxpayer funded organizations? And Elon says, definitely. All right, uh, all right, this is um, X Business, and Elon has reposted it. The Olympics bring out the best of X with 89% of conversations globally being positive neutral about the Olympics. And then there's a separate post by them saying, your brand should be part of the conversation. Get started with X. And then, um, then let's see, Josh Holly puts this up. He says, here's the truth. Mayorkas, Mayor, Mayorkas illegally paroled Lakin Riley's killer into the U.S. He had a criminal record. He then committed a crime against a child in New York. No prosecution. In fact, he got a work permit. And then he killed Lakin. Mayorkas knew all of this. He lied about it. And Elon goes, wow, this is insane. Um, uh, he's talking about Starlink. And he says, Starlink is, the, oh, this is in response to this. He says, concerning the, that less than one third of F-35s, the most advanced US fighter, are fully mission capable. Then he says, Starlink streams live during a tornado. Starlink is designed to endure the elements. It can melt snow, it can melt snow and withstand sleet, heavy rain, and even harsh winds. So a comparison there with Starlink. Uh, I slash O, E-Y-E-S slash O says, I'm no fan of Getz, but he gets right to the heart of the matter in this fascinating exchange. Only 29% of our punishingly expensive F-35s are fully mission capable because of Lockheed Martin, Martin control. The tail is wagging the dog. And that was also in relationship to all the rest of that. All right, this is from Mario Knopfel. He says, the British X-Files, Brazilian government forced censorship on X. The House Judiciary Committee released an interim staff report, the attack on free speech abroad, the Biden administration silenced the case of Brazil. The report exposes Brazil's censorship campaign and presents a case study of how a government can justify censorship in the name of stopping so-called hate speech and the subversion of order. The Brazilian government is currently uh, trying to force X to censor over 300 accounts, including... Jair Messias Bolsonaro, the 38th president of Brazil, Marco de Val, current member of the federal Senate in Brazil, pa Paulo Figueroa, anyway, Filho, Brazilian journalist. Since his public commitment to free speech, Elon has faced criticism and attacks from governments worldwide for his goal to provide everyone with free speech. That is from the House Judiciary Committee. Goes on to say, here's a detailed list of some of the individuals and entities targeted for censorship. We talked about several of them there. And, and you also have Alan Rick, current member of the Federal Senate in Brazil. Car Carla Zambelli, current member of the Brazil Chambers of Deputies. It goes on and on. A Brazilian journalist, Brazilian political commentator, Brazilian journalist, former judge, prosecutor, law professor, Brazilian gospel singer, a pop radio station. Um, and uh, uh, Elon says, surely this is illegal. Then Elon uh, reposts, imagine a mass, massive celestial bubble made of ice and dust surrounding our solar system. That's the Oort cloud, O-O-R-T cloud, and this is its scale. The Oort cloud lies at the very edges of the solar system, even the farthest ones, which are still working like Voyager 1, Voyager 2, whoops, uh, are not out as far as it goes. Then we've got uh, Sawyer Merritt saying, news, a landmark event occurred in the U.S. on Tuesday night when battery storage became for the first time the largest source of supply in the California grid. So not coal, not oil, not gas, not uh, solar, not anything else. The actual batteries became for a time the single largest source of supply in the California grid. And uh, Elon says, 
this will increasingly be the case. Okay, let's see here. Then uh, Elon reposts from CB underscore Doge, D-O-G-G-E, advertising on X101. Learn how to set up a campaign and grow your business with X ads directly from an X ad specialist. On Wednesday, April 24th, <laughs> what it will cover, the power of X's audience for businesses and how to set up and optimize your X advertising. All right. I think that is everything for today. Please hit like. Please subscribe if you haven't already done that. Please hit of uh, uh, the notify if you want to be reminded that we will have CERN Basher on tomorrow at noon, even if there is no morning program, and there might not be. Coming up in just a few minutes will be the uh, 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 Thursday Good Good News program with uh, with uh, Bradford Ferguson. I got to remember what day it is. And then on Saturday, we're going to have uh, Larry Goldberg back. And if you want to, in fact, you do want to, Larry Goldberg and I were er on earlier today. Great show. I will put a card for that right here. Love also to have you join Patreon. Go down into the description below and you can find a link to take care of business. And that would be so lovely of you. All right, that's all I got. It's been great talking to you.